Okay. What am I doing again? <laughs> I just want to see the name of my mission. Oh wait, I can't glide! Shit. Um, okay, this is not fair! Fucking camera angles. Ah! Use the ghost capture! What the hell? Why won't my ghost capture work? Is it because I'm out of... energy? Oh shit. I should just use Bentley's weapons a little bit more. Just put him to sleep and then instant kill him. Easy! Oh! Alright! My instant kill is the bomb! Oh my god! I think I'm gonna die. Retreat! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this is terrifying. Haha! <laughs> They'll never find me up here! <laughs> you thought you could just bully me forever? You thought wrong. While you trained or got hypnotized to be criminals, I trained in the bomb! I've come to truly understand what I need to do. I just have to... Do some more calculations. That's it. I knew she'd have a bad mojo collector to transport the overflow. Huh? It's a semi magical device that sucks up bad mojo. I'll need it to gather the runoff from these spouts. Wow, sounds easy. Not really. That mojo is a powerfully dark force. Take any damage while carrying that collector and you're done for. Wow, sounds hard. Yes, it presents an interesting tactical challenge. Perhaps I could use the death traps native to these crypts against any foe that might attempt to thwart my collection of the ectoplasm. Huh? No, no way that'll work. I'd use that switch to smash up the guards before they ever got near me. Precisely. Once all four cylinders of the collection device are full, that should be enough black magic to destroy the mind shuffler. Alright, so you want me to pick up the bad mojo collector and then shoot at stuff? Press O to activate the traps. Oh, okay. Oh. Sorry about that. Hurry up, machine. <laughs> they keep on. It's not ready yet. Oh, jeez. They keep dropping health, and I kind of want it. Painful. Hey, I need you to just take a fucking breather for a second here, guy. Watch out! Because otherwise, how am I gonna squash everybody at the same time? Hehehehehe. <laughs> 
calculated. Looks like the spout's run out of bad mojo. No matter, I'm one fourth of the way to a full tank. Oh. Oh, I have to do this a lot more than this. Oh. That's not good. I'm not really sure how to use your computer, but a new crypt should be up in your binocucon. Yeah, okay. I just have to do this three more times. And if I get hit, I blow up. Or if I get hit while carrying this thing, I'll blow up. All right, I gotta go over there. You got it. Here. Become medicine. Oh, shit. <laughs> that didn't work out how I needed to. I have to land it on the area next to them. You gotta be kidding me. If I can throw it, I should be able to set it off. It makes no sense to just go, well, you're out of energy, so you just can't trigger it. Now you already threw the device. That should be the energy cost. It is an energy cost. It's why I'm out of the... Why well, I wasn't able to do it anyways. But okay. What kind of traps are we gonna kill the wolves with this time? Oh boy. Hmm. Uh, okay, I was drinking some water, but I, I didn't know what those were gonna do. Oh. Oh. I deserve that. <laughs> I got cocky. I'm like, okay, well, I already messed this up once, so I'll just... I'll just kill them all at once. And then he got over. Eat that. Oh, Jesus. It's not ready yet. Do they all have to do different things? Okay, that's that's fair. There are traps there that I set off, but they don't set off when they step on it. That's biased. These traps suck. Okay, so this middle one does this. The left one shoots out arrows. And the other one just says, well, you fucked up already. These are ordered in such an, an odd way. Why does the the switch on the right activate this thing, and then the switch on the left activates the one over here on the right? Painful. See, if the switch on the right activated the one on the right, the wall trap on the right, that makes a little bit more sense to me. Just because of close proximity. The one in the middle, that, that, that one, that's fine. But whatever, we know, we know the difference. It was just being really annoying. Whap! It's not ready yet. Ooh, that was perfectly timed. Need physics. Uh-oh. Hurry up, machine! Oh, boy! Oh, 
No! Oh, okay. I didn't know if getting hit by the rock was gonna like hurt me or not or whatever. That is King. Excellent. Ooh. Another chamber in my mojo collector is full. Moving on to the third crypt. <laughs> Bentley, this is a challenge. Oh my god. I was not expecting all the things we had to do. There should be a new waypoint in your binoculum. All right. So where am I heading? My binoculum is not there. We go. Give me the help I need. It's because he was behind the tower. I can't believe I had to do this two more times. Or maybe I only have to do it once. Or like one more time and then the fourth one is something else entirely. No. No. Alright, what do these traps do? Oh my. Oh, it puts them all to sleep! That's great. It's not ready yet! Okay, then we have a problem. Okay. Holy shit. There were so many of them. Oh god, this guy got past that. I just want to put everybody to sleep. Is that so much to ask for? It's not ready yet. Eesh. God, he smacked him awake. That's just not safe. No! Stop waking up your friends! Whew. First try. That does it for this room. Looks like I've only got one more crypt to go. Bentley, I think you've got the uh, the hardest job out of everybody. See, if I was sly, I could just smack them in the face with electricity really over and over again. Hang of this. I just sent you another waypoint, but it's kind of buried in the well. Yeah, you'll figure it out. Buried in the well, huh? All right. If I was Murray, same thing. I could just punch everybody. I could flaming body flop on a person. But here we have to use our brains and the tools available in the environment. And boy, that's scary. Okay, that wasn't so bad, honestly. What do you got for me? What does this do? Okay, drops the bridge. Physics? Still not online. Oh shit! Oh, I also almost fell in there. Honestly, it will literally be easier for me to just do this. Ah! Oh, 
I was doing a good job! And then I took that, like, extra second to take out that other guy and ruined everything. Alright, what does this first fucking button do? This will hurt. Oh, it zaps everything equally. See, the problem is if you slip up once... They're gonna get to your side anyways. So this is a, a supreme rush of hitting buttons and then smacking people off if they try to get to you. At least these recharge pretty quickly. If you're on the ball with this, this isn't as bad. I like how all the health items are coming over here. I don't need your stinking health items. No! That sucks. I pressed square on that guy at least two times. And I did not hit him and cancel him out of his attack. I was doing really well there. It was a hectic, terrible time, but I was doing really well there. Alright, so this is the panic button. This is the, oh shit, I've made a lot of mistakes and uh, everything in this room needs to die. At least I can press these buttons preemptively. So it's like, oh, you're you're going all the way to the left. That's a bad idea. Oh, I love the one in the middle. The other ones just get like incinerated, but the one the one the ones that go in the middle just go, oh, oh no, <laughs> I'm falling into the water and I can't swim. Now that I'm thinking about this a little differently, and I'm not just waiting for them to get to the platform, this is a lot easier to manage. Easy. All right, the deed is done. With a mojo collector at full capacity, I should be able to blow the clockwork eyes off that mind shuffler. This is going to be great. <laughs> That was stressful. <laughs> that was stressful and chaotic. Good stuff, Bentley. Okay. Now we just have to head on, head on back home. So who's driving this boat? Or is it just being driven around by magic? I, I don't know. Alright, time to get Mary up in here. It's time to let off a little bit of steam. Benly was all... Uh, just the super stressful life. Murray, however, we're just gonna punch our way through everything. Although sometimes Murray has some pretty scary things too. Okay. Murray, let's rumble. Kidnap the general. <laughs> Kidnap the one random bad guy. Hold on. You can jump while carrying somebody. Usage is automatic. Throw to objects, explode an impact. Use is automatic. And then we have this, which you can put on L2. Use while jumping to create a wall of flame on impact. Hey guys, I know you're gonna shoot me in the back, and I really don't appreciate that. But I understand and I forgive you. But only temporarily. If you do it a second time, that you know, I, I'm a little disappointed. Apparently. Oh. No, I can't. Maybe the wrong person. Somebody said that I could pickpocket as Murr. Maybe they meant Bentley, because that's stomping on the ground. That's a good move, probably, if you're surrounded by a group of enemy, a uh, group of enemies. I'll have to remember that. It's to save my life. Oh, it's over there. 
Ow. Oh, you're getting the fucking wall of flame, buddy. Yeah. Man, I really had to climb up here for this. That's fine. Fua. Hey, Murray, can you see the general from there? Nope. Just an old man coming up the ramp. Don't let his appearance fool you. That's General Clawfoot. And he's one of the toughest old soldiers you'll ever see. Not to mention head of castle security. What if he doesn't want to come? I don't want to hurt him. Oh, uh, don't worry about that. He's only afraid of two things. Fire and water. Other than that, you couldn't hurt him if you wanted to. He might even come in handy along the way. As a projectile. Wow. That is handy. I can toss him around. Okay, grab the general and bring him back to the safe house. Sounds almost like a German. Old, angry German. You have to protect the general from fire and water. Oh, that's a good... That's a good point. Okay. I thought I had to hurt him with fire in order to be able to... ...knock him out, period. But no, I guess I just can punch the hell out of him. Great! Now bring him back to the safe house. I marked it in your Monocucom. Okay. I want to try as much conflict as possible, but... You know, we're Murray, so we'll see how 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 much I'll be able to do that. Yes. <laughs> I love how the old man doesn't even care. I thought he was gonna like try and fight us or something, but he's just kind of waddling around. All right. So I assume I should probably avoid getting him shot by lasers. No! What the fuck ever? Uh, well, I I got to see him die to fire and water. I'm so sorry, old man. I need you. To come along, soldier. Now bring it back to the safe house. I marked it in your monocular. Oh, I was gonna do this! I wanted to incinerate everybody! Come back, old man. You're not getting away from me. This time around, we're gonna be a little bit more careful. I think we should go along the left side. Just jump down that bridge. Ooh. Now I don't have to go over the water, or really have to deal with all those tanks. What are you even saying, old man? So when they say fire... I have to wonder what they mean. Like tank shots, things like that? Well, well, General Clawfoot. We've got a lot to talk about. You wouldn't by chance know the security codes to the castle gates, hmm? He's gonna tickle? Don't feel like talking, huh? How about a little of this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Talk, you scoundrel! <laughs> I never knew that Bentley was gonna be such a cruel person. To torture a man like that, how far have we come? All right, fellas. Let's get down to business. The first steps to escalating the war between Neela and the Contessa have gone well. We are down to the final setups before we spring our trap. Sly, I need you to steal a voice modulator from the castle and install it under Neela's headquarters. 
If all goes as planned, it should allow us to give orders to her mercenaries without being detected. Unfortunately, Neela's recent bomber purchase has made her army over-enthusiastic, and they might strike before we're ready. Which leads me to Murray. I need you to hotwire one of the Contessa's tanks and go to town on the mercenaries. We just need to intimidate them a little. And finally, I'll venture back into the crypts to power up that old computer in the re-education tower. We're going to need it to save Carmelita. Oh, and Sly, if you haven't already got one, you'll need to buy a paraglider for the heist. Okay, let's move out! <laughs> That's the first time he's like, yeah, you actually need this Sly, so if you could just buy it, that'd be great. Well, I already have it, so don't you worry, Bentley. With that said, I think I'm gonna have myself a little bit of a snack break, and then when we get back, I guess we're gonna start the assaults. On well, we're gonna we're gonna start riling things up between Contessa and Nela a little bit more, or Nila. Ugh. Be right back. <laughs> 